Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob from Rob's Dirty Knives. Today I have a very special unboxing for you, something that just came in from Smoky Mountain Knives. I wanted to open this real quick before I had another meeting, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Today I'm opening up with my relative from EMP EDC. Uh, really awesome knife if you haven't had a chance. I think they're still doing some pre-orders, so go check them out. Receipt, we'll take that away. All right. Make sure anything in here. Nope, just a regular paperwork. All right, so what we have here is a Kershaw. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I think I zoomed in a little bit, so let me zoom back out here. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. So this is the Kershaw, and this is the live wire. Now, this is USA made, so let's take a quick look at this. All right, so as you can see, this is an OTF. Feels really solid made in the USA right here. Interesting design. You look at the shape and everything. It looks kind of odd and everything. And this belt clip, I've heard lots of people say that it looks weird, looks doesn't look right and all sorts of stuff. And apparently you can move this to the left to the right because uh, I know some lefties who've done that. Uh, so it is reversible, but uh, it works really wonderful in the pocket. And uh, here's the actuation for the button. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, that is nice. All right, so as you can see, this right here is, uh, okay, serial number 123, 20CV. All right, 20CV and Kershaw Auto. There we go. Really nice. I like that. Really solid. You know, it's got a little rock, but that's normal, right? So there we go. Very comfortable. I like this right here. The, the jimping and the, or the milling here is really nice in this aluminum. That's really cool. The clip is really cool. Yeah, it looks really nice like that. And this actuation button works really well. It's kind of small, but you know what? It works really well. It's not really hard to push. And boy, that comes out with authority, doesn't it? So anyway, so the, here is the knife. We'll do a quick look up. Very cool. This is my second OTF ever. Um, I really like this. And I just heard so many good things about this. It's just a really great size. I like the screws. I think those are all T8s. Yeah, they look like T8s to me. And uh, really, really nice. So we'll do a little quick close-up here, and here, and here, and here. Very cool. I like this, man. It's got some good, you know, it's, it doesn't feel super light. It feels really solid, well-made. And I believe it's done in, in, uh, with the help or in collaboration with Hogue. But, man, this is excellent. The, the shape of this feels really nice in the hand. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it just really works well in the hand like that. I like that a lot. And even that clip right there, the way where it is, works really nice. And it is definitely a deep pocket carry clip. You can see that. You're definitely going to be deep in the pocket, so that's really nice. And I like the fact that this is 20 CV. You can see that, right? So I know some people are going to be like, well, this is, you know, this is Kershaw, Kai. You know, this is supposed to be super cheap. Well, this, this is really well made. I got to tell you, it looks really outstanding. So I'm very pleased with this. I think this is going to be something fantastic. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and kind of dig into this and we'll have to do a review of this but i just want to share this with you this will be one of the very quicker reviews or reviews unboxings um, i really do like it i really do it feels very solid and really nice in there and that edge is really nice and sharp definitely sort of a drop point if you will with a swedge on top comes pretty thin i mean it's not a super thin edge but the, the edge is you know it's sharpened well you can see that looks like the edge is pretty yeah looks Pretty even on both sides, yeah. Eh, it's a little off right here, but that's all right. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little off down here. Doesn't have a sharpening choil, and that's nice. Do like that. It is, yeah, it's not too sharp over here. That's been rounded off a little bit. Definitely something you can use to cut and work with. I do like that a lot. So, and I think the blade on this one's definitely more than three inches, so if you've got a law about that, uh, definitely not California legal and probably other places not legal, but. Boy, the action is really nice. This reminds me a little bit of my Guardian Tactical. It's not hard to push. I had a, 
I used a hair tick and a micro tech and an axle and they were a lot harder to push, that's for sure. This is not, this is really, really cool. Very good, very good. So there you go. That is the Kershaw Live Wire, all right? So there you go. If you want to take a look at that, we'll do a review and go into it a little bit more, but my second OTF ever, and I really like this one. I'm definitely excited. It probably might be one that I'm definitely going to keep. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, um, would you consider hitting the like button at the bottom? I sure would appreciate it. And by the way, comments, uh, any questions, comments, ideas, feel free to comment down below. I'd love to have them, and I do respond. But if you like this video, would you please hit the like button? And if you like this video, would you consider subscribing? I sure would appreciate it. it. helps me to know that content I provide is of value and helps me to produce more. And if you subscribed already, would you consider maybe hitting the notification button? That way you will be notified of upcoming video that I drop. And if you've done all that, and or if you, if you haven't, but you'd like to check me out over on Instagram, would you please go over there and check out Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives? That's Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. That's over on Instagram. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.